Uh, hello and uh, welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to my playlist on NestJS. So in the previous video we talked about uh, different building blocks of NestJS which covers the uh, filters, interceptors, pipes, controllers, services, modules. So let's get started. In this video we are going to create one module. We can create like config module, logger module, swagger module. So first we will try to create one sub module which is application module. There we will be defining the controller services and we will be adding that module in the root module okay and we will see how we can access the route parameter how you can access the body and how you can perform the validation on the request body which you are passing so for that uh, let's create one module let's call it as a post module consider a simple post folder and here we will creating a post controller post service and post module and you can use the same folder structure which you are using other places so here we are using dot so I think that should be fine fine for now but you can use a post dot controller post dot module post dot service so in the post controller here we will be writing our controller and we will be injecting our service inside this controller so how we create a controller simple we use this controller annotation and here all the routes will be a post okay and here I can just to export default my class post controller in the post controller I will have a constructor in the constructor I will do a dependency injection private read only consider that I'm going to create a post service okay this is how we do the dependency injection now I'm just considering it I will be creating a post service Okay, if you are using the named export then I think we can use a module exports class export class post controller and uh, this is how we have done the dependence injection now we can start writing the routes here so routes can be annotated simply using get and here like get all posts and here I will be just calling a service method this dot post service dot get all post and it will return me okay here you can just also add the return type what you are going to get from the post so what else what other ways to access the route parameter and all I will just try to understand it here so you can just say get and if you are accepting something in the route parameter you can just say get id and here you can say get post by id now how would i access this route parameter from here like we were using at the rate uh, body annotation similarly we can use at the rate params at the rate param annotation and here the attribute will be id which I will be getting in the request parameter and ID the type of the ID will be a string so here I will be accessing it and here I can do is return this dot post service dot get post by ID and I will be passing ID similarly we can define other methods like put and uh, same case we are passing ID here so we can just say update post by id and we will be accessing the params here so this is just a way to get the params here we are writing put right so in the put we will be getting two things first of all request parameter which will be id string and we will also be accessing something coming inside a body the payload so body let's see I'm getting post and I will be creating a DTO to validate this post so 
update post DTO key and here I go. So I will be just calling this dot post service dot update post by ID. I will be passing two things ID and the post payload and it will take care of rest of the things. So post DTO we can create inside the post folder. DTO and uh, I can create an update post DTO class. Post DTO dot TS. So in post what all things we have title which is of type string and uh, description is also of type string. So I will be importing post update post DTO. Did I did this? Okay, it's linked. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm calling the update. Similarly, we can have another call which is a delete. Okay, we can also use async because we are going to use await for all these methods. All these will be async methods because in the indirectly we are going to make an API call to MongoDB database. So async 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 and here we can just say okay I have another method which is delete so here I was just trying to explain what all different ways to write the route parameter so delete post and here I will be just passing the params ID and here is ID string. So what I will do is return this dot post service dot delete post and I will be just passing ID. Okay, you can see I created a controller right now. You will be just creating the service and in the service you will be writing the validations and all. Like I can just create post service in the post service. First of all, I will be using the injectable annotation. And here I will be using export class post service. And in this, I will be writing all the methods which we are calling from the controller, like get all post and all. Get all post. And here I might be doing something to get the data to a controller. Right. Similarly, we have other methods update post get post by ID. So if you are using the MongoDB and other database, what you will do is uh, model dot find by ID. Uh, all these operations you can quickly done. And this is my post controller. So the root will be post, and these all are the URLs. So forward slash get will give me all the row all the post if you are passing id i will be getting only single post here if you are updating a single id then you have to pass something in the body also here also you can create one method to create a post we haven't covered post method so we can cover that here post we need to import and here we can just say create post So we, what we need is we will be needing body as a payload post and this is post DTO so I will be creating this particular class in the post DTO here I will be using export class I mean it will be same but sometimes what happens we want a different payload in the create and different payload in the update so I will just providing here we need to just uh, name them import all these both the DTO oh, what happened okay we did something wrong post service 
and we will be importing these two entities okay so this is now clear now get so here we will be creating the post create post and we will be passing the post payload okay so these methods are not there right now like how it is working get post by id it should be taking id as a string get post by id id will be a uuid or something otherwise id should be a number or if it is a auto increment primary primary key similarly you define all these methods in the service and uh, i mean we are writing the typescript and also i'll always take care of what you are returning so from this you uh, right now we haven't done any implementation but it should be returning a promise of this particular post array it will be returning a, a type promise of individual post object so that we will be defining in the services we are injecting the service in the controller and now we will be adding all these things in the module like uh, how to create a simple module here we have a post module and here we have a post controller and post service right this is how we are creating a post module and this post module can be imported in our root module so you just need to go to this app module import this post module here and add in the import okay so this i was discovering about how you can add an external module now this external module can be user defined module like you are creating a sub module product module post module comments module all these will be sub module but Sometimes you wanted to create a common utility also as a module like database module, config module, Redis module, logger module with the help of Winston. So logger, uh, NestJS is providing its own logger but you wanted to extend it with the Winston. Then you can also do it. We can also use a Swagger module to add a, add a feature of creating the API documentation of all the REST APIs or GraphQL APIs we are creating. Okay. Thanks everyone. So in the next video we will create a Swagger module. From there we will get a clarity okay how we can create external modules and can, we can add and how we can see the API documentation.